Well, welcome back to Loaded Landscapes. My name's Simon Plant, and today we're going to show you how to change colour within your image. So welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at this image. This is an image I shot while on assignment in Amsterdam. Uh, but I think it was the last year or the year before. I don't know, the years seem to blur past at an alarming rate these days. Um, but um, this is a prime example of how certain colours can uh, not only attract your eye but also distract, depending on the you know what the image is about. In this image, um, my eye um, automatically goes to this area where this red boat is, and you know that's fine. If this is the focal point in this picture, then I would say, well, that's not a bad thing. You know, you want your viewer's eye to be attracted to the areas of most importance, but it isn't, and therefore I think I need to do something about it. Um, on the other hand, obviously, if uh, this picture was all about, say, a person uh, or something on the bridge here, then you could perhaps, make, if you're setting up this picture, you could make that um, a focal point by actually dressing them in clothing, which would draw the viewer's eye. So, you know, you have to think about these things. As it happens, this is just obviously a, a bit of a snapshot uh, while I was there. And, uh, you know, and the focal, the focal point, really, the attention is, you know, obviously the bridge and this... Uh, lovely cathedral uh, church so um, that is where I want my viewers eyes to be attracted towards not the boat down here so that's what we're going to do something about today as you'll no doubt realize that there's many ways in Photoshop to approach the same thing and there's some specialist tools like replace color that can help us uh, obviously uh, do the job we need today um, the problem with replace color it's um, it's not an adjustment layer and you have to sort of apply uh, the adjustment to a layer which obviously is not a problem we can duplicate the layer and apply it to that but I don't like it I just find it a bit too restrictive so I'm going to show you the way that I do it um, in uh, in Photoshop and or certainly for this image how I'm going to approach it as I said there is a few different ways you can use curves um, and all sorts but uh, I'm going to show you what I think is going to work well for this image so here's our background image um, the first thing we need to do is obviously make a selection of the boat um, and not only the boat but also there's the reflection down here as well this is quite a small area we could actually um, just paint it in with a paintbrush uh, but we can also try things like color range so let's let's give that a go let's try color range let's go to select uh, color range and uh, we can use uh, the previews here of the image or a selection let's leave that on selection and uh, I'm going to grab the eyedropper tool here and I'm just going to click on the image okay and then I'm going to click on the plus eyedropper just to bring a bit more of this color in these previews I don't know what Adobe uh, does this um, these previews have been the same for years are very very small and very hard to see why they don't just uh, make these preview area you know, triple the size and have done with it I don't know I, I can't see the reason why they wouldn't do that um, as I said it's been the same for years but that's what we have to deal with um, once you've added a couple of selections I'm just gonna keep clicking here and maybe a bit more in the water if we can we could use a fuzziness slider and that will help constrain the selection a bit more to where we need it you're not gonna get it perhaps bang on uh, so just get it as close as you can as a starting point and somewhere around that looks good as far as I can see but as you can see the uh, preview is good for nothing in my opinion so click OK let's have a look at that so we're part way there uh, I'm not sure it's going to uh, be a, a huge amount of use but let's um, now get into our adjustments and we want to pick out the hue saturation adjustments okay I'm going to crank up the saturation quite a bit at the moment so we can see what we're doing and possibly uh, with a lot of these things um, you sometimes better off clicking the colorize uh, box and colorizing the image as opposed to changing the hue because we get sometimes get some funky uh, funky effects like here and uh, as you can see as I move this it's affecting you know Part of, the, part of the image colors and not the others so sometimes colorize will just affect that whole area so we're going to click that I'm going to bring the saturation back up again so we can see what we're doing so with this I think we need something a little bit more in fitting with the rest of the image and so let's just come out of here a second and have a look at the image 
Okay, so the image is quite cool in places. There's a few warmer bits up here, which is what we want. But on the whole, it's quite desaturated and quite cool. So I think picking a colour in the greens or blues for this boat will be quite a good way to go. So let's do that. Let's bring this over. Somewhere at the sort of cyane. Is that the right word? Cyane? I don't know. But, but in the blues, cyan region. I'm going to bring down a saturation and have a look at that for argument's sake. There's before, there's after. I'll ignore everything else in here at the moment. We can take care of that in a second. So that gives us, I think, a better starting point. I'm still not convinced. Let's make it a little bit more green. Bring the saturation down a bit more. That's looking much better. Somewhere around there. Now I do want to come in, and that's affected our water as well. I do want to come in and clean up this mask. So I'm going to alter option click on the mask. And you can see the mask actually for there is not bad. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the, uh, the burn tool, which is down here. Okay. Set to shadows. I'm going to keep the exposure down about 5%. Make sure the mask is selected. And we're just going to burn. Just going to make the brush a bit smaller. Just going to burn around these edges a little bit. Like so. As we get further away, we can then zoom out a little bit and get a, a selection tool. Draw around our boat there. Uh, press the Command Shift or control shift i that inverts our selection or just go to uh, select um, inverse up here and then i'm now going to fill this with black and you can do that in d many different ways let's just do use it simple way with the paint bucket tool with black as a foreground and just click there okay so now this is basically only affecting the boat and nothing else in the image we can further accentuate this uh, selection by brushing with a paintbrush tool again quite a low a passive low flow about eight percent on this one like so so we're just really just refining the mask a little bit um, we can also use the dodge tool if you prefer to use that on highlights and again exposure down quite low we'll build this up Like so, and that would just help us refine the mask a little bit. If there's still areas that are showing through, we can just come out of there and again with a brush tool with white as the foreground, we can just add to this selection. Like so. There's still a bit of red in those areas. There's no hard and fast rules. Put it up like that. So you get the idea. So let me just come out again. Pretty happy with that. Might just blur it a little bit. Go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and just add somewhere around five pixels. And that would just ensure there's no harsh transitions and it's nice and smooth. And that's looking pretty good. And we can do the same. We can now, if we wanted to, if this guy on here is a bit distracting, get the brush tool and maybe just come in and paint him as well. Make sure the flow's down quite low. You know, and if he's, uh, if his red jacket there is offending you, you can just come in and paint that out. If it's a similar colour. Just be careful, you know, so you don't... Uh, overdo it and it, it, it sticks out like a sore thumb just uh, click X on the keyboard and that brings black to the foreground I think I've got a bit too far in his face there but uh, keep zooming out and looking at it from a distance I think that's better there's before there's after there's a bit more down here actually with this sign so again brush tool white in the foreground and we just come in and just gently so the idea here, 
as always, a lot of my videos, we're just kind of guiding the viewer's eye, viewer's eye, viewer's eye, into the parts of the image that we want them to go to, and kind of push them along away from the bits that uh, are not uh, important. And as I said before, I think that boat was a distraction. Now it's really just helps the viewer's eye go through. I think it's a little bit too saturated. Now I've zoomed out, so I'm going to bring the saturation down a bit. And that actually fits in quite nicely with these boats here a little bit. And there we go. Um, not a hard thing to do. It just takes a little bit of patience. And uh, like I said, just got to be careful of... Um, of not going too over the top. Uh, I think now I've dropped the saturation down. That looks pretty good. Might even come down a little bit more. Yep, that looks a bit better. And of course, being a, an adjustment layer, you can come back in here and if you decide you want to change the hue of the boat um, or saturation, as we've just done, you can play around with these settings to your heart's content. So, uh, a nice flexible uh, way of working. Um, so, that is it. So, that's one way of changing the colour in your image and more importantly uh, just helping accentuate the areas you want your viewers eye to go to in the picture and as I said before let's just tick this off I think that boat was a bit of an eye magnet and uh, by just changing the color of that just uh, I was gonna say slightly quite drastically um, it just enables our viewers eye to run through the image and not be pulled away from the more important parts of it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to catch you on the next one. Cheers for watching.